everybody. Welcome on behalf of International Association for the Advancement of Innovative Approaches to Global Challenges. We are here at the side event, financial, technical and institutional support for scaling up youth climate action. We are delighted that the Climates are our partner for this event and Global Green Cross International. And uh, we have organized this event because we have an initiative uh, in, with which we aim to solve some of the systemic deficiencies of the uh, global climate change governance, but also on the, in this multi-level governance context. So we want to really mobilize resources for youth climate action on global level, but also on local level. And uh, my presentation has the aim to show you how we are going about it. So you see, wanted resources for youth climate action is our uh, slogan. We have had today a flash mob uh, together with uh, younger members and also with the Secretary General Envoy on Youth. And the <coughs> message is we must, we can, we will give youth the chance to take climate action now. So, and for this we have a COP22 call for resources for youth climate action because uh, the uh, issue is so huge and systemic that uh, it's not enough if one uh, organization works on it or so, but we need some kind of social movement uh, to really raise awareness about the need for give young people the resources they need to help the world. And uh, it's also a, a multi-stakeholder effort because we need partners like UNESCO uh, with this strong knowledge base and we need uh, the United Nations system, which, who, which has already the mandate, but very often not the resources to deliver. We have to build uh, and uh, complement these activities of uh, mandated uh, stakeholders and help them pumping the resources that, uh, that are needed, that we really uh, become more effective in like, global climate change action. And so, uh, what is this uh, Give Youth a Chance COP22 call for resources? And for your information, this uh, initiative has also the official COP22 project label. So it's really, we have now officially mandated by the COP22 host country to go around uh, and collecting money. So, uh, and uh, we, uh, we call for resources for youth participation in the UNFCCC processes through structures uh, like Jungo and uh, we might say something in more detail later. And uh, we uh, are also saying that although the UN system is supposed to be big and strong and everything and has the mandate, but it's lacking resources. And there's uh, nothing on the horizon which would say that the member states will, uh, are going to give uh, these programs more money. So we also put this into our uh, uh, call and we also want to uh, have uh, these uh, programs successful and well equipped with resources. And the third element is an Agenda 2030 Youth Action Marketplace, which shall connect the products and services of young micro social entrepreneurs on the ground, on the local level, who, who sometimes need only a few hundred uh, dollars or euros or a few thousand with the big money from the big philanthropic sources, for instance, the Giving Pledge, uh, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, they have convinced already 130 billionaires' families to pledge to give back to society half of their wealth by the end of their life. So there are about $400 billion in the air, and then there are the, the 100 billion per year public uh, climate finance for developing countries in the Green Climate Fund. But these big chunks of uh, uh, resources cannot drop, uh, triple down to the, to the young people who are eager to take action, but who are starving and uh, uh, cannot develop their full potentials. But with the marketplace uh, where we build this intermediary infrastructure and the ecosystem and the quality assurance mechanisms and the information and communication technology infrastructure for connecting all these relevant players and uh, uh, including crowd evaluation and uh, digital alternative uh, uh, social currencies and uh, this, this kind of topics. This is a big effort. It's a big global infrastructure that needs to be set up 
and it needs to be set up in a global commons uh, framework. So it should not be something where, where a company is growing bigger and bigger and uh, developing monopolies, but it's something which should be co-owned by all global citizens and all the partners who are contributing to these efforts. So we have, uh, in our campaign, we have a crowdfunding component and we have a, a Global Challenges Giving Pledge call and registry. And we have a short-term fundraising target of 1 million euro. We will try to get pledges in this dimension by the end of uh, January ne next year in order to report about this at the uh, United Nations Economic and Social Council Youth Forum, the biggest youth forum in the UN system. And uh, the long-term aim and uh, somehow appropriate dimension would be 100 million euros. And uh, we have, uh, for running this uh, kind of uh, partnership and resource mobilization machine, we have uh, the structure of a multi-stakeholder partnership, the Global Challenges Youth Empowerment uh, Partnership, LOCHA, including Global Challenges Foundation, uh, including setting up uh, Global Challenges Youth Centers on the ground in every city and every local community if possible. And here we are working with Yongo, uh, with Global Youth Development Institute, with Climates, with UNESCO Most, UN Habitat, UN Women, and also Citizens Climate Engagement Network, uh, with the regional government of the Austrian province of Carinthia, National Youth Authority of Ghana, and a uh, youth think center also, and uh, this uh, shall then develop into one of the leading delivery mechanisms for local action of, on the SDGs uh, 10, 11, 13, and 17, uh, reducing inequalities, sustainable cities and communities, climate action, and partnerships. Next steps, we will have a, a press conference on Saturday where we will present uh, the status quo of the initiative. Uh, we will uh, have our first fundraising uh, activities on uh, razoo.com, a crowdfunding platform for youth participation in UN FCCC processes and for the Global Challenges Youth Music Contest 2017. We will translate this call for resources into all the relevant languages uh, so that uh, young people can help us to communicate this to the resource holders in their countries, uh, with climates in the French-speaking world, uh, we don't need to translate it, but, and uh, then uh, if there will be, once there will be uh, positive responses to this, we uh, will call those resource holders and all our partners uh, for this partnership to come to Klagenfurt uh, in Austria, to the place where uh, our organization has the headquarter, and to have their uh, coordination meeting to decide on the governance structure for these resources. And uh, the message is, uh, the journey has begun. You, we would be very happy to walk it together with you and uh, these uh, energetic people that have been together with us here at the fresh mob in the morning make us uh, very optimistic that we will succeed. Ah, yeah, and, uh, yeah, this, sorry. Uh, this brings us then uh, to the presentation of the partner from Ghana, uh, National Youth Authority of Ghana, which I see somehow as part of my presentation also, that you see that we, we are able to build the link to the local level, because National Youth Authority of Ghana has a network of 1,200 local and regional youth centers, and they said that they are ready to go. Give these uh, centers uh, for us to work with them to bring our programs, to bring our resources, be it knowledge, or be it technology, and also financial resources. And here, a uh, statement from there. So, My name is Napoli Porti. I'm the local rep of the IAAI here in Ghana. The IAAI and the National Youth Authority of Ghana have been in partnership since May 2014. It started with the West Africa workshop on youth, ICT, and global challenges. It was the participants of this conference that put together the Accra, Accra Declaration. The IAAI and the National Youth Authority have formed a strong lesson from since then, and we are looking forward to making greater exploits. With me here is Mr. Ernest Amarco, a director of the National Youth Authority. Thank you, Linda. The National Youth Authority Ghana has a network and a national mandate to empower young people of Ghana to play the role in 
employment action in the context of Agenda 2030. The National Youth Authority, therefore, seizes the need for the Wheelchair Youth Empowerment Partnership and offers its total support and assistance to the Give Youth a Chance project. We will ensure that all that we have to do to make Lisa work with other young people, to make this project a success, 